Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere off New York with a soft tart who has and bad registration plates. And he berates and belittles the officers, treating them like they're his personal servants. And he takes it all the way to the edge when they threaten to, uh, well, remove his window for him. Now, does he uh, give in or does he actually take the broken window? Let's sit back, relax, and find out what happens in this Mega display of Sovtard stupidity. What's your name and badge number? Trooper Fell, State Police, Shield 1678. Do you have your driver's license on you, sir? I'm not giving you anything. I want to speak to your sergeant, and I want to know why you pulled me over. Because you don't have a registration on the vehicle, sir. There's our Constitution right. Okay. You okay, nothing. You. you need to get a hold of a sergeant right now. I want to speak to your... Well, solved hard. Uh, you need to stop drinking the lead paint and realize that uh, calling a supervisor will not help you out in this case because according to uh, New York State law, you are definitely required to have a registration and no amount of berating, belittling, or acting like you are high and mighty and far more superior than these officers will ever change that. So let's go ahead and carry on and see how much stupidity can come out of this idiot okay. right now I, need your driver's license first. I want to speak to your sergeant immediately you are violating my constitutional rights right now okay. you need to get a hold of your sergeant before you make a big mistake buddy what's your first name sir i want to speak to your sergeant and i'm not saying nothing I'm else saying, I'm saying i want to speak to your sergeant okay, i don't know why you're yelling because you didn't hear me the first time then why aren't you calling your sergeant? I have nothing to say to you. Don't ask me questions. You work for us, buddy. You need to learn it. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. No, he doesn't work for you like that, dude. He works for the general public to uh, protect and serve. That basically means... He is there to uh, uphold the laws. He is not there to be your personal ass kisser. So just move along from that holier-than-thou attitude. That'll get you nowhere in life. In fact, it's going to win you a lot more enemies than it will ever friends. Okay. And I'm going to come after you. Believe it. Okay. That's not a threat. I mean, legally, I'm coming after you. Okay. You need to learn your lesson. Over yeah, I just took it off. Stop asking me questions. Okay, you have your license on you. You need to get a hold of your sergeant right now and get him here. I'll be right with you, sir, all right? I give you no consent to be searching in my vehicle. If your sergeant don't know what's up, then she's going to have to get her uh, higher up also here. So you're going to try to get any manager out here that you can that's going to uh, bow down and kiss your ass and say, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are not going to uh, give you a ticket for uh, no registration. In fact, you can go along. Uh, no, that's not really how it's going to work out, dude. I mean, you can go up the chain in command uh, all you want, but all you're going to get is more pissed off police officers uh, ready and willing to, uh, well, uphold the law rather than bow down to some dumbass self sovtard. We'll get it figured out when she gets here, okay? Absolutely.
You just fucked up, buddy. <laughs> and who are you to be all so high and mighty? Are you something special? Are you the King of England or something like that? Because I can see the King of England being pulled over and pulling this, but uh, I would suspect that the King of England would be a bit more respectful than that in a foreign country, though. I know, Bubba. I know. Oh. You know, you're the third cop that pulled me over. I'm the third one? Yep. In how long? Ever? In the last year. In the last year? Where were the other where was the other times? It doesn't matter. Okay. Was it in this truck? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't know why you guys don't just what what did you what did you say you're gonna um what did you say that you were gonna? Uh... Hold on, man. I've 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 worked a long. <sighs> That's fine. Hold on. Get your thoughts together. What'd you say you're gonna serve and protect, man? I'm sorry. What'd you say? What did you say that you were gonna serve and protect? What did I say I was gonna serve and protect? Uh, well, I took an oath for the state of New York, so. Doing my job enforcing the VNT. It's not enforcing your job, bro. Okay. Is this her? Nope, it's my partner. Right with you. There is now another one on the scene. And they're back there. He's got his gloves on. He's already coming up. He's already, this guy's already coming up all crazy. Look at him. Oh, he's the crazy one. Well, uh, no, I think it's the one around here who thinks he's above the law, who the one who is in the vehicle right now, who thinks that he's pretty much the king of the world at this point. So let's carry on and see who wins this confrontation. And I can tell you something, it will probably end up with a broken window, but uh, that probably, well, let's see what happens. How's it going, man? True Fair State Police, how are you? Good, how are you? You have ID on you, dude? Really, bro? We just went through this with him. I, I wasn't here, so I didn't hear. Well, you just talked to him. Yeah. You, you can go back there and talk to him. He'll tell you everything I already answered, buddy. You don't want to provide ID? I didn't say that. Okay, so will you provide ID, then? You're asking, right? Yes. No. Ah, Mr. High and Mighty King of the World wishes not to produce his license to the New York police officers. But here's the thing. Even Mr. High and Mighty King right here, he's in the New York jurisdiction and therefore he has to provide his license. Otherwise, there'll be stiff fines and penalties for his failure to produce a driver's license. So therefore, you just screwed yourself over there, buddy. You have to provide it on a vehicle stop, okay? This isn't a vehicle stop. Okay, are you just traveling? Absolutely. Okay. 
This is considered house goods at this moment. And I'm, I'm, I'm not traveling under commerce, which my plate clearly states that. And you guys are violating my constitutional rights. Well, I'm sorry to inform your highness that your rights have not been violated. In fact, if you would look at the Tenth Amendment and realize that the states have the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, well, Mr. High and Mighty might just learn a lesson here. But let's see if he actually learns it, so let's go ahead and carry on. We don't want to break your window, but we will. Where's the sergeant? She's on her way. Okay. I never, I never, um, said I was, uh, disobeying anything. Oh my goodness, dude. Uh, you never said that you were disobeying anything? Uh, dude, the way you were acting toward the officers and, uh, not wanting to present your license and everything else like that. Everything you did, in other words, your actions were telling them that you were disobeying lawful orders. So therefore, you didn't need to verbally announce it. Your actions spoke louder than your words. If you don't, if you don't provide ID, then... I, I'm asking for your sergeant. When your sergeant gets here, I'm going to speak to her, just like he said, and he said she's on her way. You ain't going to just violate my rights. Who said that? I don't believe it. She's on her way. Okay. So why would you smash your window out? She's on her way to talk to me. You're a liar. You need to leave. Get out of my get out of my window, bro. I don't want to talk to you no more. You're a liar. You just lied to me right to my face, like I'm stupid. Oh, but you are stupid. It's just the trouble is that you don't even know it because your head is so far up your ass that the oxygen isn't exactly getting your brain to your brain so you can actually see how stupid you really and truly are. Look, I, we don't want to do it. She's on her way. Good. When she gets here, I'm going to speak to her. No, I'm not getting out of nothing. So you could, so you could, so you could fondle me. No, I'm not getting out of the car. I need to speak to your sergeant. You're not going to just violate my rights. No, I am not getting out of his car until your sergeant gets here. Exactly. You think I'm stupid? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right wait, hold on. You're really going to break it? Yes. We're not fooling around here. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Well, looks like King Dumbshit over here decided to advocate the throne once he realized the officers were actually serious about their job. So, in other words, his bark was a lot worse than his bite. I mean, he I guess he really didn't believe in the sovereign citizen cause because a true sovereign citizen would have definitely carried that far beyond the broken window. In fact, they would have uh, been begging them to come and arrest them after that. Uh, but at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.